This, of course, is Drogo, my two-toed sloth from Costa Rica. He is an absolutely beautiful animal. But one of the things you guys may not know is that these guys only use the bathroom once a week. And catching them in the act is extremely rare. And when sloths actually use the bathroom, it's a really interesting ritual that they do. First, they're going to climb down the base of a tree. They're going to hang on to that tree. They're going to wiggle their butt, almost doing a little dance. And then they actually go to the bathroom. It's just something that you rarely ever see on film at all. And we were fortunate enough to catch it. Afterwards, of course, when he's done, he's going to climb right on back up that tree. He's going to look around and have a little bit of fun. This was an amazing thing to catch. So let's do an update on leopard geckos. It's a lot slower of a season this year, so we're not getting as much. I came in from Memorial Day weekend, and we have a nice variety of cool stuff. Let's uh, look at a few of them. This one's super cool. This is from our dark line. You can barely see it in the color of it. Oh, wow, Jess. So it's got that nice reverse stripe on it. Cute little thing. And it looks like it's an eclipse too, which is pretty cool. I love when the dark ones come out eclipse with the all black. Uh, these ones are always really cool to see too. A super snow eclipse. And it's got that really cool pie. We have a much smaller group this year. So I'm betting this will probably be the only pied one we'll see. I only have one group this year going together for that. They're all beautiful though. So this does look like it is an eclipse, which with the odd groups, we were trying to figure out if the eye mutation was eclipse or if it was like a separate new eye mutation. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure it's just eclipse that's doing this, but the cool thing is it still has that weird like gray wash over its entire body. Like whatever's making them darker, I think is genetic. So we'll still have to do some work on this. I kind of want to get like maybe a black knight male, mix it into the group and see what we can get. It's nothing like super crazy genetic wise. We're just line breeding to get more of that really bright orange. And this one's going to be really nice because right out of the egg, you can see it's got that really pretty head. But we also have some new cows that hatched over the weekend. So let's go take a look at those. One of the most amazing things about reptiles is when they actually shed. You know, obviously they get that new skin. I talk about it all the time. What basically happens is that as a snake is growing, it needs to regenerate that next layer of skin. Ice Cube here, which is a beautiful diamond python from Australia. Take a look at how amazing that animal is here. It has a absolutely perfect, beautiful shed. That tells me that Ice Cube is growing and is doing well. But listen, not all snakes will shed perfectly. You know, sometimes it's a humidity issue. Sometimes we see that actually big snakes just have a hard time shedding in one piece because of the weight of the actual animal. And today, of course, Lucy and Juliet, well, Let's go look. It looks like Lucy and Juliet dead at the exact same time, which is absolutely weird. Blew the entire cage up. Look at this pile of poop down here. Oh my God, there's poop inside the pond. I mean, this entire enclosure is absolutely wrecked. It's gonna be a nightmare to clean up. Uh, thankfully, I don't have to do that right now. I've got a couple people that'll be perfect for the job. Connie, Mike. Hi. What's up, Mr. Brian? Hey guys, uh, where did you get the donut? Well, listen to you gave me doing. I know you guys may not have noticed this, but Looks it like looks, it's got to be clean. It looks like uh, we've got two snakes shed. We've got poop. We got, yeah, you guys, yeah, enjoy yourself, okay? Uh, I would finish the donut first. I'm gonna. All right, you're giving off Patrick Star vibes today. Wrong closet. <laughs> Dude, I love my pink tape top. I don't care if Bader's gonna hate, you know? Ah! Worst thing is I cleaned this yesterday. We did the water, we did the glass. The glass looked all great. Now there's crap everywhere. Ah! Oh, it's so heavy. Ah! Oh my goodness, it stinks in here. Yeah. Woo! Doggy. That's so much lighter than Juliet. Her mouth is open. Her mouth is open. Head in the head in the top. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Wait, don't let her go. I'm trying. Uh, no, don't let her go. Oh, she's so much heavier than I remember. Get her butt in. Get her butt in. Uh, uh, I got the butt. Yep. I forget how much she runs. I used to run track and country, cross country, and I would get so nervous before a race that I literally. Okay. So why she out? Who? The giant folder. Oh. Uh... Beep, beep. Like it doesn't look like you're working that hard. Do you see the sweat pouring down my face? Yeah, but that was from the donut. Did you stop worrying it's about like, that snake? It's like. You 
Got some eggs to collect here. This is a giant. But it's actually a double head albino pie bread to an albino pie. So we can produce some albino pies, albinos, half for pie, stuff like that. Looks like we're good. It's always weird that we always just seem to get one little slugger, you know, just to ruin the mood a little bit. But the truth is, I'm still super happy because there's are some big eggs right there. Look at the size of those eggs. We got two, four, six, seven beautiful eggs. And the way that basically works is one in four on average is going to be that double recessive, which is albino and pie. Then the other ones are going to be pie head for albino, albino head for pie. And then, of course, a normal would be a a double head but that's on average right so that doesn't mean if you have four eggs you're gonna get that that just means on average that's how many your ratios would actually work out it's like four gargoyles a crested and a cave gecko this cave gecko is actually super cool looking so this is one of the bewangling gensis ones <laughs> if i said that right but this one instead of having the straight bars across it's got this like weird a like, swirly pattern. one yeah so that one will be cool to see what it looks like when it gets right and then we got our second lily white hatchling that one's really pretty yeah, just is different looking than the first one. It's got a more like lavender color going on than the like dark brown. All right, and then we've got Four gargoyles, all red stripes it looks like. And I know that these are all gonna be nice. So these guys already started shining up. And they're like really pretty colored. Blind already. Mag is a, a red six stripe or red super stripe. And then Red Bull is red based, red blotched gecko. So these guys will have like really nice red saturation. But honestly, these ones look like they're gonna have even better red saturation. Oh, that one's biting me. <laughs> Both of these guys are gonna be really beautiful. <clears throat> it's hot. Is there something crawling on my face? No, uh, just a spider. Huh? How did this get all wet? That's just tortoise feet. Speaking of which, where is my giant tortoise? I found her, Mike! I'll just stand by. Oh, glass full. What happened? Baggage full. You really love to shush people. Probably. Stop, it's not full. Oh, when you shush me, I the just think I can't, amount of internal I can't rage think. that develops is indescribable. When I'm thinking, I can't have you talking because. That's not my problem. I That's just a can't you problem. think. I'm actually excited about this clutch right here. This is actually a champagne. This is the first champagne ball python I ever got. She's still kind of small, but literally I got her when they were like $15,000 way back then. She's probably 14, 15 years old now. And I bred her to actually a banana cine chocolate. So with dark colors into the champagne, they were really cool. The banana looks really cool. So I think the banana, the chocolate, the cine, and the champagne together are gonna be really quite an amazing amount of babies that we could have here. And let's see what we have. Again, we got this one slugger egg. Gosh, it's so frustrating when you see a beautiful clutch of eggs and there's one slug in here got one little boob egg here which is no big deal that should be fine we've got two four six beautiful eggs one little slugger here and like i said these should be some really stunning potential babies so i cannot wait for these guys to hatch in 57 days we'll be cutting them i use this the other day to make lasagna you hey. use this for the poo just get <laughs> she's strange for lasagna what kind of person is this you don't have to be crazy to work here we'll train you <laughs> Hot, messy, stinky. All oh, things. He's messy. You good? Woo. Are we chill? Are we chill, bro? She Are seems bro? chill. All right, thank you. Like Bye, and guys. subscribe. Lucy's done. Cage is off. You're looking nice. Ew, you're sweaty. I know. I just... <laughs> Juliet's probably gonna shout out the next day or two, so we'll get that obviously, but. Yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying egg collecting season. I always get super excited about it just because you, know, you put so much work into breeding the animals, even the thought process before you put a uh, first male in. Everything is like, you know, whatever. And then you start to see the fruits of your labor. Maria has done an amazing job this year. This is actually a firefly that's het for ghosts. And it's actually bred to a mimosa, which is a ghost champagne. So it could get some really cool stuff. And guess what? Our first clutch of the day without a slug. So that's always a big bonus. There's no doubt about that. So let's go ahead and get these in here. Two, four, six, eight beautiful eggs right here and that's it for egg collecting for the day and that's a beautiful thing about working with animals is that every day you're going to see something that you've never seen before and that's what makes my life so exciting hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos you can also hit that subscription button it would mean a lot to me also hit that like button while you're down there have a wonderful day reptile army remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you in the next one